What's up guys and welcome back to another fast-paced unbiased review video. This one's going to be on the Giraffe Tools 2200 PSI pressure washer slash 100 foot pressure washer hose. It's integrated together. I've read pretty good things about them and uh, so let's dive in here. Now you can get these on Amazon around $300. However, they're not available yet. I think uh, they're doing pre-order right now and they should be available in February. They sent me one of these and I'm kind of excited to try it out because you know, especially being below freezing like it is right now in the winter time, uh, it'd be nice to have something in the basement and I could just pull out the window or whatever. This weighs 40 pounds and it came packaged pretty nicely. I haven't pulled it out yet. So let's look at the box and there's no damage. All right, I took a few minutes to look things over and my first thoughts are it seems like a pretty good quality build. This is the six foot power cord that has a GFCI built into it. Power switch is right here. Good action on that. The hose seems of good quality and is rated for 2610 PSI. As I said, this is a 2200 PSI unit, but that's max. It's actually rated for 1700 continuous. Over here is where the hose attaches, and we'll get back to the main unit itself, but let's take a look at some of the accessories. So we've got a five foot inlet hose, a little screen adapter, so that way debris and sediment doesn't go into the pressure washer. These are your anchors for mounting it to the wall. And then your pressure washer tips along with a cleaner. I like on this wand, the tips can actually just be locked right down into place there. First time I've seen that on a pressure washer. And uh, so this is going to get screwed onto here. However, before you go putting all these together, I do recommend using some Vaseline grease, lubricant, any kind of lubricant really, and putting it on that O-ring and right here as well. That way you don't risk tearing the O-ring, get a little bit more longevity too. And it also comes with this soaping utensil. I looked through the manual, that's well put together. I'll put some pictures of the pages at the end of this video if you want to look through that. And uh, yeah, let me get this thing set up now so we can try it out. And we'll thread our inlet screen on and then attach the hose. Put my tips in here, and then these are just quick couplers, so you pull that back, slide on, locks into place. If you want to put the uh, soaper on, same deal, and then you'd fill that with soap. Not going to use that just yet, so I'll leave the tip on. And look at that, it's even got a drink holder built in. Yes, kid. Now, as I said, I'm thinking on mounting this down in the basement. That way it's just ready to go year round. Don't have to worry about draining it. And you can see I already have this hose reel down here. This is 100 foot also. Uh, so you're going to put it under that one over there or right here. I used to have a hose hanging here too, and I already have a spigot. I guess I should try pulling the hose out first and making sure that's going to be a good location and uh, maybe try it out before putting it on the wall too. Now to mount it on the wall, it comes with the lags. So you could use these in two by four studs or you have the masonry uh, inserts too. Uh, and then this, take this tie off right here and there, just rip it off like that. And then the bracket slides right out. But yeah, you just mount that plate level, which, oh, excuse my reach, it even came with a little bubble level so you can make sure to, to mount that and then, yeah, drops right on. It's nice that it's like that so you can take this off if, say, you do need to bring it over to a friend's house and use it. So hopefully this thing pumps out some pressure and works good. I just pulled the full 100 foot length out, which reaches all the way out to the center of the yard. So I'm pretty happy with that. It'll reach out to the street too. I pulled that straight out and no kinks at all. Let's fire the water up and see if it leaks. Here we go. With any pressure washer, you should always uh, turn it on first. Sorry about the low lighting, guys. Apologize. Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn it on. That's what it sounds like. Oh, there we go, it established uh, Prime, and I guess it shuts off, or did it pop? No. No, that's it, it's good. So let's go see if it works. Here we go. There you go. Oh, sorry, I'm shooting the chickens over there. Terrible. Terrible, because it's so cold. Well, let's try it out real quick on this. Yeah, not bad. Now, I do have a commercial grade pressure washer in the garage, but this this is pretty strong for what it is. Like, let's try out one of these other tips. I mean, wow, yeah, that's the 2200 right there. If you need blast, you just yank it a few times like that and you have much better shots. Uh, but yeah, this is, I'm happy with this. Oh yeah, taking that dirt and crud off there, no problem. Well, I'm happy with the location of it, so 
And now before you roll this up, you want to make sure to turn it off and then relieve the pressure in the hose because if you try using the retraction feature on there with the, with the hose being under pressure, it's not going to work very well. You know what, better yet, we should probably listen to what it sounds like before we roll it up. I'll just yank the trigger out here a few times. It almost sounds like a shop vac, so that's, that's not bad. Sounds good, sounds healthy. So that's one thing to consider before mounting it in your house. It does make some noise. This is 1800 watts, by the way. Like I say, you can mount this right on the wall, but they'll rust out over time. So I'm thinking right on this board because I didn't, I didn't like this board to begin with since it's not painted and I'm thinking behind these pipes. Maybe I'll get a bigger one, maybe a piece of Trex. In fact, it looks like, oh yeah, that's not even mounted on the top. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. I had to change the plans. I am going to just bolt it to the wall. So I got some stainless steel lags out of my collection here and we'll just put a block wood spacer in between. That's what it looks like mounted. I used some clear construction adhesive behind it to create a little bit of a membrane between the wood and the wall and give it a little bit more structural integrity. It's on there good. And here's how she looks once I dropped it onto the bracket. So when you pull this hose out, you give it a good little yank and if you let go, you'll see it, it will just freewheel back in. If you want it to stop, you have to pull till you hear a click. And once you do, you let go, it'll lock out. You can see on the back, it also has a holder for the wand. And what a breeze to use. Just turn the water on, power it up. And you can go and pressure wash your sink or your basement, whatever. When you're done, turn the unit off, turn the water off, blow out the pressure. And you know, just to show you how well the auto retraction works, I'm gonna pull a whole hundred foot out into the yard and then walk this right back and you'll see how well this thing works. Here we go. Would you look at that? No assistance. Oh, all the way till the end. Here we go. And whoa. So that thing, that works really, really well. I mean, look how neatly that wrapped up the cord. That's a well-designed system there. I just want to make note, even if you're not rolling this unit up at the moment, you should always shut it off. Even though the pump's not running, if you leave it in standby mode with the power on like that, from what I was told, that's, uh, that's not good for the pump life. And I also recommend when you're all done to just unplug it completely. Better safe than sorry, right? Oh, I did want to show you guys the soaping adapter too. So I'm going to hit this Rhino real quick and then we'll uh, try that out. Get the majority of the dirt off of here first though. Yeah, that worked pretty good. So for this, you use a special soap that I'll drop a link to down below, but it's meant for these. So yeah, I got this foam cannon one that I use with this pressure washer. And yeah, you know, this thing blows a little bit harder than the electric one, but what a nuisance trying to, you know, drag that out and always start it up. And if you don't start it for six months, eight months, it might need some carburetor work and all that. And so anyway, let me pour some of this in here. Now my guess is I'm gonna have to heat this up a little bit because this stuff poured out of here like molasses since it's only about 40 degrees in this garage. Uh, well, let's try it. So just snap it in place at a nozzle and then you turn this counterclockwise to open up flow. Let's go all the way. I think the soap's just too cold right now. I'll just throw it in the microwave for oh, maybe 20 seconds. Let's pull that out. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's much nicer. About probably 80 degrees now. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look. I ended up also twisting this knob. It seems if you turn it to the negative counterclockwise, or I'm sorry, clockwise, then it, uh, you get a little bit more flow out of there. I assume counterclockwise is more flow just because it had the positive spin mold. But there you go, that works nice. You let that soap set in for a little bit, maybe give it a scrub, and then pressure wash everything off. Not a bad idea to blow all the water off with a leaf blower so that way uh, you, know, you can still use the thing and everything doesn't freeze over. And I guess that ought to wrap this review video up. I'm super impressed by this thing and I think it's really going to come in handy and save me a ton of time from dragging the regular pressure washer out. So I give it a big thumbs up. I'll let you know in the comments how it holds up, maybe a year later or so. If you got any questions about it, feel free. Again, I'll make sure to drop a link to it down on Amazon and maybe even try to get you guys a uh, discount if you buy it directly through Giraffe Tools. So uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up and I hope to see you in another video. No nonsense, no how. 
Over out. And as usual, here's just a look through the user manual and such. So if you want to pause that to take a look at anything here, I'll just flip right through it. Look at some of the other products they have. I guess this is the older two-in-one pressure washer before it was all integrated into one piece like the new one. And that's it.